Well, we're out here again at the, the Chio Community Victory Garden number two. With us is Fern Vasquez. Fern, uh, tell us what's going on out here. I see you got a few volunteers. And, and, and talk to us about this garden number two. Yes, well, this uh, garden number two was uh, uh, the Virginia Hill Church generously offered some of their property here so that we could have a, a second garden. And um, what you see going on, you can see we have some potatoes already planted over there. I'm going to sneak the camera over here while you keep talking. Okay. And um, so you see Mary Jo working over there. We're trying to create a little bit of a different type of garden. It's going to grow the same things, but we're just trying some different gardening techniques. And she is an expert in this. And we're just sort of like creating different beds within the garden. Yeah. And so we have, uh, you know, Saturday is our big planting day. And um, uh, so we need volunteers to come out and help us in both gardens, the one at Luray Avenue and the one here. And of course, we're going to publish all the little contact information, your phone number. So I hope, yes. it, hope it rings off the, off the hook because uh, you, volunteers are welcome. I mean, that's what you want. And this is a great activity. Last year, you had a lot of... Uh, success uh, with people working yes so uh, tell us what who are we looking for who how can they help anybody with a good back <laughs> <laughs> that's and the even, only requirement and and you know what it, it, I, I say that kind of loosely and lightly uh, but there are different ways to contribute uh, we need uh, for let, let's just talk specifically about today after tomorrow which right. is Saturday because that's what we're we need uh, to have people who can hoe and stoop over and plant and that's you know to, just to get our main planting done um, but after that there are we have many different um, tasks that don't involve uh, you know like if you have issues with backs or you know knees that you can help in the distributing or you can um, there's a variety of things that can be done that don't require a lot of physical stamina um, just a, just a good helpful spirit well uh, and it's a great tool I mean it's a great thing because I noticed last year you had families would come out with their children and absolutely that, that was I did not know that that was going to happen uh, and it just came uh, as you know it just came naturally uh, that you know moms would call us up and say you know kids need to be out of the house I'd right. like to teach them to garden you're doing us a favor yeah. and they would come down with their kids and they would work in the garden on a weekly basis and the kids would help pick and then they could experience the garden that's great let's see uh, let's talk to some of your crew over here because I don't want to take away from their hoeing <laughs> but let's just sneak over here with the camera All right. and see if we got uh, introduce us here to some of your your new workers you have this year. Okay, well, coming up uh, right here is, is Gail Hartman. Some of you may know her. She's a vet uh, here in Front Royal, and she may have taken care of your animals, taken, taken care of your cats and dogs. Um, and she is the wife of Bob Hill in the back. Bob is like the, we call him the commanding general of the garden. So he is, uh, uh, he's the one who's in charge of this garden, managing it. Um, over here to, uh, to my right, straight down, uh, is Mary Jo. And she is a garden specialist. She has done this for many years. She can look at soil and see whether it looks like it's lacking or needs something. She has, uh, so she's helping to create like a, uh, a, a, the proper rows for planting. Well, she knows, she's got a good handle on that hoe there. She seems to know what she's doing. Oh, she knows exactly <laughs> what she's doing. And we are blessed to have that kind of expertise come to the garden. Well, I can see the potatoes have uh, started to come yes. up out of the ground. Yes, we planted those earlier. Potatoes you plant a little early. And uh, last year we couldn't find potatoes because right. it was too late. Uh, and we looked, but we couldn't find, but boy, this year, we, you know, we went straight for it, so. Well, I hear the train in the background here, so I hope people can hear us. So you're right along the railroad tracks. I, it seems like the other garden is near the railroad tracks as well. Yes, so. I, I think it's a theme. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful spot out here. They, there's a lot of, uh, I assume all this yard belongs to the church. So yes. I guess they're gonna give you a small space this year, then next year they'll give you more. Oh, well, it could be, we don't know. <laughs> we'll get enough volunteers. Yes, that's so what it takes. So we want people to show up, to come out and give you a hand. Yes. Uh, it's Saturday, what time does that start? 
We're going to start out here about 10 o'clock because we're going to start earlier at the other garden. Okay. And some of the same people are, you know, the ones who are in charge want to be able to do both places. So we want them to only come out to the Virginia Hills Garden or do we care where they show up? Oh, no, up they could come out to both. Okay. They could come out. The one at Luray is on Luray Avenue right after the intersection with Chrysler Road. Right. If you're headed down to the dog park, it's on your left-hand side. Right. And um, we're, I'm going to be down there, you know, eight, around 8.30 or between 8.30 and 9, you know, if you show up. Um, you know, bring along a, a garden tool if you have it. If you don't, just show up and we'll try to You'll find something you. for yes, everybody right, to do, right? Right, 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 right. right. Well, hopefully uh, Michael Graham will get the fence put up here. Uh, yeah, that's the intent. Um, I think what we're going to do is plant first, and then and then we have the structure of the fence. Right. It's just getting the the wire around it. Right. Yeah. I see. You got the poles up. Got the poles uh, up. So like until they start coming out of the ground, we don't have to worry too much about the deer eating everything. So. Well, yeah, but you never want to take anything for granted. We'll have little the seedlings. We'll have little. You know. Yep. This this a garden will be protected after it's planted. Right. Uh, this is, and they'll come up quick. I mean, it, oh, yeah. it doesn't take long. For no, that it to doesn't start. take long. And fortunately, one, you know, we're in a little bit of a, a drier spell right now, just for the last couple of days. Right. But we have a, an expert who came to us from Arizona. He's an expert in irrigation. So he's going to be installing a drip system here, just as he just did. Just like you did the other just place. Just like we did at the other that place. That makes a big difference. That, I think it makes the difference. It gives you a larger yield, I think. It gives like, you a better yield, and um, and nobody has to come down with buckets of water. So. Right, exactly. And here we didn't, we have a water source, but there's no, like, river source nearby exactly, or anything. Exactly, exactly. So. Well, Fern, I uh, appreciate it. We'll get this put, uh, posted and we'll get the information in the story where people can get hold of you and we'll share that all around social media and send yes. it out to our subscriber base and we I hope know. that you'll have a lot of volunteers show up this Saturday. Well, Mike, you've been very good to us with the, with publicizing what we're doing and, and actually that is a source of our volunteers is, um, is your publicity. Well, so that's we what we're appreciate here for. It. We appreciate it. We're glad because the end result here, you will uh, help feed a lot of people in our community. Yes. Last year, we, there was, I want to say, ton of food. <laughs> it was. that Last year we did, we're hoping to do, obviously with two gardens, we will be doing more. Um, one of the things that we're looking at this year is canning, so it extends the garden season. That's great. So, well, I appreciate it, Fern, and we'll, get, we'll check back with you in a couple weeks, and we'll see how progress is. Thank you so much, Mike.